Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Anne Matee, and today we're going to talk about plank variations on the Wanda Chair. Okay, so today we're going to talk about doing the plank with the Wanda Chair. So the Wanda Chair is a really nice athletic piece of equipment, and the plank is a really nice athletic exercise. So we'd like to combine the two, and I'm going to show you three different variations of plank, and we're going to use the Wanda Chair to help our alignment for that. So we're going to start with a regular old, you know, classic push the pedal down. Okay, so we'll stand, you'll have your client stand in front of the chair. They can bring their arms up, come into their alignment, and we'll have them not too far away, pretty, pretty close, half a foot away. And then just lifting their belly, they'll roll down, keeping the hips over the heels. They'll put their hands on the pedal, press the pedal to the floor. Okay, now... You, you may have a client that has tight hamstrings and can't get the pedal all the way down. In that case, they're going to bend their knees, right? But for the rest of us, we want to create a little stretch in the hamstrings while we do this. So once they're warmed up, you get them down here, and you can do a few press the pedal down to really activate the lift of the belly to get the pedal down. So the arms stay straight, the belly really lifts. Once we have that, and you've done a few repetitions of that, here's where the plank comes in. Pressing the pedal all the way to the ground, they're going to step back with one foot and then the other, and here you are in a plank. Now, what I like about doing the plank here on the Wanda chair is they have, I'll use my head to demonstrate, the front of this chair to really reach into. So it's a really nice place for alignment. You have your shoulders over your wrists. Your shoulders could be even a little behind your wrists. And the head really has an, aim, an aiming place. It really reaches forward. The heels really reach back. So they practice this plank. When they have that and they, you feel really comfortable there, you can start a little mountain climber. So I have socks on, which is great, because I can slip my feet back and forth. This really gets them involved with their deep belly connection, keeping their upper body really wide, and the head still reaches forward towards this front. So once they've practiced that a little bit, you'll have them step in, try and hold the pedal down as they transition back to that same place. So there's lots of control involved there. Then they can start to roll up, lift through the inner thighs, get really tall again at the top, let the blood rush back down, right? And then that's variation number one, mountain climber with plank. Variation number two is going to be pressing the pedal down and lifting the heels up. So they have to be able to, they have to have a, a certain amount of length in the hamstrings to do this one. Okay, so this variation is only for those people that can press the pedal all the way down and um, legs stay long. So we'll, we'll go down again. You'll lift the belly, you'll roll down, have your client press through the heel of the hands, get all the way down. Again, you're only a few inches away from the chair here. And then driving your arms down, you're going to rise up onto your toes. And you want this to be really slow. So they have to curl their upper and lower back to float those heels off. Keep pressing down in the pedal, right? And then after you're pretty good with that, rolling back up again and down. So that second variation really gets them in touch with that press through the arm, the lift of the belly. Then we put those two together. So you have the plank and you have that squeeze of the belly. And this is going to remind you of upstretch on the reformer. So this is upstretch on the chair, sort of. So arms up, shoulders down, lift your belly, roll down again. We'll come all the way down to the bottom. And then, really reaching into your arms, you're going to try and lift your upper back like you did before. And then you're going to, you can have them step out to start to feel this. So they could start here in a plank, and then here's where the upstretch comes in. You round your upper back, you look in, you lift your belly so much that your slippery socks come all the way in, right? And then you could have them step out, find that plank, head reaching forward, shoulders down. Again, drop your head, look in, squeeze your belly so much. I'm really standing into my hands. I'm super light on my feet. And you could always reverse this. So they could press down so much, ooh, it's hard, to get all the way down to the plank and back in again. And then just rolling back up, 
staying nice and stable as you come all the way up and down again. So those are some pretty athletic moves that are gonna get your nice alignment with your plank and have fun playing with the chair. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question you'd like answered in an upcoming episode, comment below or on Facebook, Twitter, or our forum. See you next time and never stop learning.